why hello and welcome everybody so today i wanted to go ahead and cover another build for you guys uh don't worry it's still righteous fire uh but it is kind of like a tweaked modified righteous fire so this is the league starter we played to 100 don't worry it's still going to be there whenever i decide to adjust it a little bit more for bossing but i want to take a break from it and kind of go into my favorite form of righteous fire which is explode righteous fire so uh this is a character i just made a few days ago uh, we're currently level 97, and the whole purpose of this character is to quite literally farm maps, right? So you guys saw previously Legacy of Fury clear. I don't really have to showcase that. We're just going to jump right on in and show Explode. Now, before I get started and actually show this, I just want to kind of show a few requirements. This version that I am playing is expensive. It's probably over 30 to 50 exalts. You can recreate something similar on probably under 10 exalts. The biggest difference is you're not going to use a synthesized explode weapon. Instead, you are just going to use um, assonance gloves, which will explode just fine. They just won't do as much damage, but the actual exploding should be fine. Uh, the reason I say this is because I played this on a chieftain and with assonance and the uh, Dumbledore chess piece, also called Blundelbore, I think, uh, work out really, really well. The difference is this is on an Inquisitor, and Inquisitor doesn't get as much explode damage. Uh, so I opted out to go with the explode chest and synthesized weapon. Now, sadly, this weapon was 3 exalt when I bought it, and then it went up to 15 exalts. Not the weapon itself, but just the implicit. We crafted this ourselves. It's not really very good, but it's, it's good enough. Now, the other things that make this character expensive uh, are the defensive layers. So I incorporated an Aegis Aurora. That's like, I don't know, 5 to 7 exalts. I also slapped in like a 7 exalt cluster jewel, which is not necessary by any means. It's just I have the currency to spend and wanted to invest more. You do not need to spend currency on stuff like this. And then the other big one was melding of the flesh. The only reason I have melding is I would occasionally die. And as I like leveling to 100, um, this is something that I wanted to get, right? But none of this stuff is required at all. I think I got to like 95, 96 even without even doing melding. Um, and then this cluster jewel... The only thing that's really required is a fan the flames but if you saw from that little sticky note i showed you can also technically get like searing exarch on your gloves so that's also not really needed that being said enough talking uh let me jump into a map the last thing would be i'm using an unnatural instinct here which again you don't need it is just like extra fluff stuff it's extra stuff to make the build feel better so we're gonna go pop into domination and let's go it should be very fun Normally, I would put Delirium on, but it might take a little bit too long to clear the map right now for a YouTube video. And then we're just going to do a little bit of Rampage here. Oh, yeah, there we go. Now, some things to talk about for this character specifically. <clears throat> this character is not really designed a boss in any type of way. It could be modified to kill, like, pinnacle bosses and stuff, but I would really advise against it, unless you're trying to, like, just buff up your main character, I guess, like the, the League starter, and you really want to over-invest. I personally like making more dedicated mappers like this, and then having, like, a well-rounded character, like the original character we showed, um, which can still do a lot of everything, right? What's over here? Nothing. So the, again, the main focus of this character, with the exception of looking very pretty, is it specializes really well in farming Delirium and Beyond content. And the main reason for that is because of these massive explosions that are creating proliferations, which as you see, you just walk one step and you can see the kill counter just shoot up, right? This is the Ellie Prol of killing targets. Uh, if you have enough damage on your explosion, you can even kill beyond bosses just from the actual elemental proliferation. This is something more that like Chieftain or Elementalist can do. I can still kind of do it on the Inquisitor, but Chieftain and Elementalist are much better suited for that personally. Well, I forgot the shrine here. Okay, let's go. Uh, this character's single target is beyond terrible right now. I'm sure I have under a million boss damage. 
I actually don't even have like an essence of horror helmet at all. Uh, I literally just have like a 10 chaos corrupted helmet I bought from PoE Trade. See, a single target looks good, but it's not good. It's just being padded by the, like, Explode and Ignite Pro Lift. All right, so that's pretty much my next project character, as we were talking about, right? Um, to kind of go over my gear, uh, this is my weapon. It's basically like a weapon crafted from my guide, but it doesn't have a good suffix. The reason for having a weapon like this is because when I was crafting this weapon, I ended up getting a plus one all spell skills on a magic so i actually imprinted it meaning when i am done with this weapon i will imprint it back to blue and sell it for significantly more um i know that might not make sense to a lot of people but uh it's just a really rare stat right uh, my helmet is just something i found off poe trade it basically just had chaos resist and life regen the reason this character doesn't use an essence of horror helmet is because it's not designed for single target uh, what I would technically craft that's much better is like a enemies take increased fire or enemies take increased elemental or both helmet because that will give your RF a lot more damage and you're basically just killing with RF on this character. Uh, an amulet I picked up basically for my melding. It gives dot multi, dex, and res. Aegis Aurora. Uh, a phlegm ability on hit ring with some res. A two stone with basically just a shit ton of res. My uh, gloves essentially have a ton of res with that increased life recovery. Um, my old belt on my other character that uh, I never really ended up finished crafting. And then Legacy of Fury just for some extra damage. Legacy of Fury does not actually do anything with the clear on this build. It just helps give extra damage to like uh, beyond bosses and other things because you're scorching them. And that's pretty much the character and uh, and the rundown of it. Um, yep, other than that, you know, I just have like a topaz on, uh, I've got a ruby flask, I've got the granite flask we run, quicksilver, and then amethyst to keep me alive against the chaos. Uh, this character is using a brutal restraint. Uh, my brutal restraint on this character actually is pretty sick. It gives 5% movement speed, 5% attack speed, 20% LE damage, Alchemist Genius, and Frenzy Charge on kill. So very happy with this. The Alchemist Genius is pretty good for this content because it's basically just buffing up these flasks, which procs this, um, which gives increased effect to all of these. So it's pretty cool. I like it a lot. Um, yeah, but this will pretty much be the next character project that we'll be mapping on. And then I'm not really sure what the next character is going to be. Uh, but that's all I got for right now. I know that I still am getting a bunch of questions regarding like Righteous Fire scaling and stuff. So I may uh, deviate a little bit from making build guides since uh, there's not really much to create like do on the other character. And I may be making more like helpful tips and tricks videos for players like trying to progress into the end game with their Righteous Fire build. I know that because of inflation, things are just ridiculous prices right now. And players don't have to go after the most expensive items. But I know a lot of new players don't understand PoE, so it's a lot easier for them to copy items rather than think for themselves on like, oh, what is the difference between multiplier or an increase or fire multi versus global dot multi? I'm not really sure. I'm just going to go with what Pox did, and then they search my item and it's like 27 exalts. Don't buy that. That's called inflation. <laughs> so I may be making some guides maybe on trying to help newer players smooth through the campaign. Not the campaign, but like through their mapping experience. But I'll see because... Most of the stuff's all going to get deleted next league anyway, so I'm not really sure yet. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. So I hope you guys had a wonderful time. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. If you liked the video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget, you can catch me streaming live every day at twitch.tv slash box. Take care. See you guys all tomorrow.